reach beyond the darkness, beyond the grave, to an unexplored dimension as we travel to the mysterious realm of ghosts. Journey with us into the world of ghost stories. As settlers flocked west during the gold rush, mining towns boomed and many greedy, often unscrupulous businessmen made their fortune. Not in gold, but on the good luck of others. One such man left as his legacy the hotel he built and a bit of himself. Centuries later, they say guests who frequent the hotel never check out without an encounter with the infamous Mr. Lager himself. Nothing at first seemed to really happen, but um, as I was sleeping, I, I felt not a malevolent presence, but as if someone was in the room. And then I heard um, a creaking, and as I, I glanced out of the corner of my eye, I saw the, the rocking chair moving, and I, I, I just laughed. <laughs> the Old West. A place where cowboys rode the terrain, saloons were the entertainment, and gunslingers became legends. But it was also a time that fostered and opened the floodgates for prosperity. It was 1849, the year of the California gold rush. The lure of instant wealth was like a magnet which drew thousands to the West. And over a century later, you can still find what remains of these old mining towns. The Lager Hotel in Mokolumne Hill, California, is one such place. A piece of the past left behind by George W. Lager, a sharp businessman who took advantage of the flourishing moment and reaped in large profits. Profits which after he died, some say George refused to leave behind. Just stories of, of um, articles moving around or being misplaced or thinking you set something down in one place and you search around the whole room crazy for this, this one article and then you look back and it's in the exact same spot where you thought you had left it. George W. Lager came to California in response to the gold rush, but he didn't seek his fortune in the precious yellow metal. I guess he was probably a real shrewd business person. Um, instead of digging for gold and Working on a whim, he built a hotel and, and apparently made money. In fact, Lager made a great deal of money. His primary income came from newly rich miners who lived and gambled away their fortunes at his hotel. But that wasn't the only way Lager filled his pockets. He was a kind of a loan shark too, I guess if you will, sort of a thing during the, during the gold rush. And it was his less than above board banking methods that caused more than a few people to hate the man. Lager lived in room number seven, where he could keep a close watch on business. He was almost never without a cigar or a beautiful woman, the envy of practically every man in town. George Lager had it all. But then suddenly, one day, it was all gone. George was a, a cigar smoker. There won't be anybody up there, and sometimes you get a whiff of sm a cigar smoke. Room 7 seems to catch the most of the weird things, the unexplainable little things, with the doors closing, the ruffles of the beds, and cigar smoke. It is unclear who killed Lager. It might have been a miner who felt Lager duped him out of his hard-earned gold, or maybe it was a jilted paramour. One thing is certain, though. Today, Room number seven at the Lager Hotel comes with more than just a view. The uh, lady that used to be the maid here before I bought the place has quite a few stories of the pillows getting thrown out of the room after she cleaned the room. People have talked about hearing steps in the hallway when they're in the rooms at night, yet they're the only guests here and people don't roam around because we lock it up at night. Lager's ghost has only rarely been seen. One of the few people to actually witness the apparition was the 10-year-old son of a woman who bought the hotel some years after Lager died. Like children that age, they're uh, very active and used to run around the hotel a lot. During the week, the hotel wasn't occupied. 
ran by room seven and this gentleman came out, the stately looking gentleman with a um, mustache and said, uh, Sonny, will you keep it down? Uh, and closed the door. Not expecting anyone to be in the hotel, the terrified boy ran downstairs and told his mother that the man in the picture above the bar was upstairs. When the child's mother went to investigate, she found the room empty, but eerily she smelled the unmistakable odor of cigar smoke. I knew a little bit about the hotel, but not as much as I found out after I purchased it. And it's, um, and it's, it goes on every day. There's something new every day. They say that you can't take it with you. But in this case, a man's greed was so strong that even death couldn't separate him from his earthly possessions or from Earth itself. When George met his untimely demise, he was shot up here in room seven, from what I understand. And uh, I guess that they, it would be, you know, they say that people go back to, uh, uh, you know, where they, where they died or where they're used to being. This disastrous accident started a legend that motivated many people to come to these tracks. I determined to check it out for myself. 